I stopped for a little bit because the cleaner was uh, cleaning with this really, really big machine and it was noisy. So, moving on. And it's windy. Please don't rain. I'm just gonna rip it out. Where's my spade? Morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be fixing up this pot. This is a really tall pot. It stands at about, I don't know, maybe 70, 80 centimeters. I'm really bad with estimating measurements as well. I did semi redo this pot in my very first uh, YouTube video and it needs another do or upper. So this portalaca, I love it, but the green of the leaves and the green of this pot it's too matchy-matchy, it's no good. And what I'd love to do is take this out, put it somewhere, I'm gonna put it in a terracotta pot over there, and then replace it with this portalaca, which has got darker leaves, and I think will go against the green of the pot really nicely. When it comes to pots, I sort of like the colors to be contrasting or complementary in a way that's not matchy-matchy. You want both things to stand out. You don't want the color of the plant and the color of the pot to kind of like blend into each other. As my opinion, that's all. This trailing jade, I've forgotten the botanical name of it. It's a little bit matchy matchy with this pot, but I was hoping that it would color up because it can turn a really beautiful pinky purple color, which it sort of started to do, but I don't know if it needs to mature more. Like it gets heaps of sun. Maybe I just need to be a little bit more patient. And then this Crassula Isabella is doing its job in terms of coloring up like perfectly. It took so long for this to turn this color but I think I know why. If you have a look at the top here, it got completely hammered by the summer sun. So it's probably turning this color because it's screaming with stress. These two plants used to be switched around the other way. And when I switched them around, I don't think I covered up the roots of this one properly. Hence why it looks so trashy on top. So I don't know, I might just cut back all the dead stuff and then try and bury the roots in a little bit better. And what else? This, this one is quite a pretty plant. I have no idea what it is. But, as you can see, it's not doing so well in the summer heat. It actually thrives in the winter. I have a feeling it might be a sedum of some sort. So this plant is going to come out and I'll just figure out what to do with it. And then we have my Aeonia Mardi Gras, oh, which is just not thriving. I have a feeling that this spot up here might be a little too high up. And in terms of the microclimate, it's getting a lot more heat and sun and wind and just all of the stressy things. So I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna replace it with, hey, I'm gonna replace it with this. Unpopular opinion, I love trunky succulents. I mean, it depends obviously. I don't like messy succulents. If they're looking really old and unhealthy, maybe not, but maybe it's just all about the health of the plant. Like if they're trunky and healthy, I, I say that's a winner. So I'm going to put this next to the Mediopicta Alba, which is just shining. It's like the star of this piece. What do they say on MasterChef? It's the hero of the dish. The Mediopicta Alba is the hero of this arrangement. And then we're just going to step back and take a look at that and see if it needs anything else. Yes. Shall we get to it? Okay. So I'm going to try and take out these two plants first. Oh. Didn't even need a spade. Wow, shallow roots. That came out so easily. Look at that, not growing at all. Damn. I mean, I suppose that summer is its dormant season, but it's been in my garden for a whole winter. All right, what about, ow, what about this? This one's doing a little better. That's all of the roots there. And now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and take out this uh, portalaca without moving the Mediopicta Alba. It's probably gonna hurt. Gloves. Ugh. All right, come on. Oh my God, nearly, nearly much. Let's get all of that off, that's gross. I'm just gonna use this white for now and then I'm gonna treat it out. I'm gonna treat it properly later. Holy moly. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's 
biodegradable. Yeah. Okay. There's quite a bit of spraying that I'm going to have to do a bit later on. Mm. Let's get back to this. Yeah, I can do this. I can. Let's remove this first. Echeveria colorata. Don't know where that's going to go. Wow, this is deep. Ugh. I think I'm going to have to take the Medio Picta out. That's okay. Wow. This is. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, it's way easier to get this out now. Yes! Come on! Yeah! Wow. Okay, this can go here. Right. Left. <laughs> this is so pretty. Because it's summer, I'm not gonna mess around with the roots too much. Maybe just loosen them a little bit at the bottom, but I'm just going to shove the whole thing in. And in fact, what I might do is just pop a little, oh geez, a little bit more soil to the side. So it's got lots of soil to be buried in. Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah. Looks great gonna shove that there and then which way did this go I think it went this way what I might do is take this out I actually do think I need to get it a bit closer to the edge I stopped for a little bit because the cleaner was uh, cleaning with this really, really big machine and it was noisy. So moving on, we're going to put this in right next to the Medio Picta Alba where the Mardi Gras was. I have not been looking after this at all. I was nearly going to throw it out, but I shoved it. I just took it out of a pot and I shoved it in a corner um, and I'm glad that I waited. Now I have the perfect spot for it. This used to have really br like a bright orangey pink color to it and it was beautiful. I got it from Marketplace. Now the leaves have gone a little bit darker but the edges are still retained. They're that kind of like really brilliant pink if you can kind of see there. I don't even think I potted this up properly. I literally just took it out of the arrangement and then dumped it in a pot. I didn't put any extra soil or anything. And I left it there for months and months and months and it's still doing all right. Ah, oh, wind. Oh my God, that's gonna have to go in way deeper. What I might do, where's my spade? Where did it go? All right, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take more soil out, but I'm also gonna chop off um, some of the roots on that Echeveria because it probably doesn't need it. Where are my clippers? I swear to God, half of gardening is finding my tools. Here we are. Oh, that's looking better. That's looking like it might fit now. I tend to be very Laurie Eubanks about succulent roots. I'm like, whatever, they'll just grow back. This has been around for a long time. I don't think this plant's going anywhere. <laughs> just watch, it'll probably die in the next three days. Okay. Ew. Oh. oh, come on. Come on. That looks beautiful. Can you even see that? I don't think I'm gonna move, do too much to this Crassula Isabella. Oh my God, like it's probably just tidy it up. Oh my God. The plant's just falling out. Fully has died on top. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So much of this is just coming off. 
What do I do? Is this just actually dead? Yeah, some part of the plant is still there. What I might do is when it's not in the middle of summer is take some of the cuttings, like cut some of this bottom end off and then pop them in the soil up top and that way I can cover up this patchiness up here. Oh my God, that's just all coming off. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. Um, wondering if this just needs a pop of something else in the middle there. Maybe the Colorado can go back in, maybe like there. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? And then I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if this Gibiflora, oh, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. I am going to leave the soil in there, minus the weeds. Weeds out, go away. Wow, it's the little ones that have just made their way in. Oh, this might hurt a bit. Does that look amazing? Oh, that kind of looks amazing. Shy did so well. I may just need to dig a little deeper. Ow! <laughs> well, I think that looks bloody superb. So I'm gonna um, gonna fill this up with soil now. Oh my God! Ow! That was right in the boob as well. Does something need to go here, maybe. Might need the smaller spade just to get into those tight spots. Where's my small spade? Tim found it. This is gonna take out my eye one day if I'm not careful, I swear to God. I do feel like something's missing like in this area here. So this is the front. What could go in there? Could a golden barrel go in there? Just for a different texture. Hmm. No, maybe not a, a golden barrel, but... <gasps> wow. Oops, you can't see because of my hair. Look! Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Boo! Oh my god. All of the leaves are just falling off this flora. What is happening? Maybe a leaf propagation experiment? I actually don't think that gibberflores uh, can produce babies. I could be wrong about that, but you know, maybe we'll just see. All right, let's topsoil it. Sorry, did you see all of that? Okay, so maybe that'll give that a bit of room to grow. Yes? Maybe you can't see that. I'll show you later, I just wanna get this done. Honestly, I think that looks freaking fabulous. Whew. All right, I'm gonna try and pump this out pretty quickly because I have a feeling it's going to rain soon. This is where I'm gonna put the portalaca. It's a square, it's a rectangle terracotta pot. Oh, there's a bee, a dead one. In all honesty, I'm ready to let go of this ruby necklace. I have tons of ruby necklace. I don't need any more ruby necklace. I can let this go. I think this one might go into a different pot. Maybe. Let's just see how we go. Oh my lord. This is really dry. Oh. Wow. This is Sedum Golden Goddess, by the way, with a dead bee in it. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Wow, this is old soil. Ugh. All right. Yeah. It's probably more. Oh, hey. That looks good. Yes, promising. Promising. I'm wondering if I set it up a little bit more like that. Yeah, yeah. Should there be like another thing here? Oh, maybe the Shiviana Heim. All right, two options. You can have the Miranda. 
and just see how it does in this spot, like right here. Ooh, or the Shiviana. I think the Miranda. Miranda, it's your time to shine again. Come on. And maybe it will color up this time. Just take off all of the dead leaves. Just like that. All right, Miranda, it's time to do your thing. You can, you can, I believe in you. Let's just see how that goes. Yeah, yeah, man. Cool, I think that's looking pretty fabulous. Chevy on a heim, I, that's gonna just have to be another problem for another time. It has been out of soil for quite a bit. You can kind of see its leaves are shriveling up, but um, yeah, you'll be fine. All right, I'm done. I've cleaned up everything. So let's have a look. This is the first arrangement. I love how this turned out, honestly. Put the little gymnocalyceum in there, the, the colorata and the purple pearl. Please no more leaves fall off it. I mean, look at that color scheme. I'm just gonna wait for some cooler weather so that we can, um, we can fill this out with some cuttings. Gosh, this is so cute. I freaking love this. And these look so great in here. I'm so glad I saved them and I didn't throw them out. And this is what has happened with the, what do you call this? Oh my god, my mind has just gone blank. Porta Laka Triple Treat, that's what this is called. Flowers are just slowly depleting, that might be the wind, might be because it's in a bit of shock. I've cut off some of the bits with Mealy. Everyone send me good vibes for this Miranda as well. I'm hoping that it colors up in this spot. I'm gonna treat this as well because there's just, there's a, there's a fair bit of Mealy on it. Nothing that it can't bounce back from, but um, yeah. It needs a spray. All right, friends, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna get out of here before it rains and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.